you're one of those individuals that tries just one thing and immediately says, this is the one for me, then I'm worried about you. So when I was in Italy, it was eating all the different types of Italian, you know, which, and you would think like, is that exactly like what you would get here? I mean, kind of, sort of, but it's not the homeland, you know, going to Sicily and eating, you know, it's different. It's a different world eating in France, you know, going seeing cognac in the area that it's grown, being limited there. And, pretty cool, man. you know, going to Ireland and seeing the, the, the Blarney stone and the castles and Did drinking you kiss it? Guinness. No, I didn't. I didn't actually go inside. I yeah. just kind of was like, eh, that's where it's at. You I know, see it. Cause I was headed to the bar, man. You got to go get Guinness. Yeah. So, you know, it, you have to order one when you're halfway through with the first one because it takes them a while because they fill it so far. The head builds up. They take a knife, rake it off, wait for it to settle, keep filling, keep filling, keep filling. You get it. There's a reason why it's lukewarm. Right. <laughs> they took time. They took time to do it. But, get you but they up. did it right. And their shit is way different than what we get here, at least to me. <clears throat> the beer itself. Yeah. It's like it's a thicker, heavier version. It's more alcoholic. So, eh. yeah, I heard the alcohol content in like, Germany, Ireland, Scotland, like all the, a lot of European companies, it's a little more North than what we're used to for a lot of them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You know, and a lot of them, their rules there, at least, you know, as we were always taught was if you're old enough to reach the bar, you're old enough to have a drink, you know? So you got a lot of them that put up, you know, the Americans under the table, you know, but at the same time, yeah, shit, man, I'd love to go over there and go for Oktoberfest, you know, granted, I think it's probably happening either. If not now, we just, we just missed it because it happens in September. Right. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of reasons I want to go back to Europe. That's the cool part about it is like I had that little taste of it. And now it's like, man, now I really want to go back over there. You know, I heard, I don't know if this is true or not. Maybe you can confirm, maybe you can't, but as far as working conditions over there, I heard it's pretty, pretty lavish working over there. You get naps. Maybe I've heard rumors I've seen of that. all kind of shit, man. When we were in Italy, they used to shut down after lunch. And well, I guess it'd really be before lunch. They'd go to lunch. Yeah. They wouldn't open back up to like two thirty, three, three thirty in the afternoon. So I'm guessing that the I ain't gonna say wow. they napped, but I'm assuming they sat home and did, you know, some chill shit. So yeah. I mean, what's it? Denmark, I believe, is like the happiest country on earth for work. You know, it's like everybody literally works like what's it, thirty two hours or thirty six yeah. hours, that's it. Yeah. It's like eight hours. They're like eight hours. Yeah. You work eight hours? No. <laughs> We will Straight not do shit, that. Man. I mean, but it, they've been doing it longer than us, man. That's all I'm saying. They, they, they've got a better routine. Now, granted, their taxes are a lot higher, too. So, like, you know, for example, the pay may be better there. And there's there's definitely upsides. There's also downsides. You That's have true. to kind of decide what's your ultimate goal. But, I mean, fuck, dude, I'd go live in Denmark in a heartbeat. You yeah, know? Man. I wouldn't mind being super happy with my workplace. I mean, I know. just I'd, li- I'd just like to experience the difference. It would be nice to see how it is from because like you said there's pluses in america and there's downsides in america but then and then there's pluses in denmark and downsides and it'd be cool to compare them and just see hey which one do you like better i like comparing right yeah and comparing hey man that's again that's because uh, how else you going to know what you like how are you going to know what's better in your eyes yeah and if you're one of those individuals that tries just one thing and immediately says this is the one for me then i'm worried about you yeah man because you are missing a lot that's why baskin robbers has fucking i don't know 32 man. flavors and i that, think hell i don't even know probably more now yeah i'm probably guessing that's probably outdated probably. <laughs> probably outdated a little bit but yeah you know not everybody's gonna like chocolate man yeah i got a guy who work with man who does not like chocolate and peanut butter together what? really I, a little piece of me died the day i found that out you know my that heart makes me sad, but man. you know I mean, he's a great guy but now i just have a little concern for him you You're know like, are you okay yeah how do you not like chocolate and peanut butter because he didn't want to re- he turned down a reese cup dude 